Good morning. Do you let what people say about you bother you? You know, it's interesting. If you're going to take advice from somebody, don't you take advice from somebody who's probably pretty close to an expert in that field? You wouldn't take monetary advice about your money from a beggar on the street. Nor would you take advice on how to lose weight with somebody that's grossly overweight that's been that way their whole life. You wouldn't take advice from people that really truly don't exhibit the characteristics of knowing what they're talking about, right? Okay, why wouldn't we take advice from Jesus then? Because he's the son of God in flesh and he knows what he's talking about and his word set us free. But it's amazing to me, Jesus never needed men's praise. He never needed it. I want you to hear this. If you don't need man's praise, then what they say about you critically will not bother you. If you accept the praise is building your self-esteem, then the criticism's also going to bother you. Listen to what Jesus said. He said, now... <clears throat> When he was in Jerusalem at the Passover during the feast, many believed in his name, observing his signs, which he was doing. And signs now. But Jesus, on his part, was not entrusting himself to them, for he knew all men. In other words, they weren't there to really believe in God, Jesus Christ. They were there just because he had done some signs and they believed in them. They believed in what he could do, perhaps, for them, not in who he was and what he was asking of them. Another occasion. In John chapter 12. Nevertheless, many even of the rulers believed in him, but because of the Pharisees, they were not confessing him. For fear that they would put them out of the synagogue, for they loved, listen to this, they loved the approval of men more than the approval of God. Now, let me ask you something. Whose approval are you really after? God's or man's? If you're after God's, then what man says about you really won't bother you that much. As long as you know you're right with God. And that'd be in accordance with his word. So obedience is going to be your number one concern, not what people say about you. It's funny, when I was getting ready to record this, a Tucker Carlson thing popped up on my phone. And he was in Finland, I think it was. And the guy said, people hate you. They hate you. They talk about you. They'd say this. Doesn't that bother you? And he goes, no, it really doesn't. I never even think about it. I never think about it. It doesn't bother me. I have a job to do, and I'm more interested in doing that. Now, if my wife said something, that would hurt my feelings. If somebody that I really respect and loved and admired said something, I'd take note of that. But people that just criticize me, that doesn't bother me. Because I just let it go. I don't know them. They don't know me. They, 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 they don't know what I'm doing. Shouldn't we be like Jesus here? He did not accept the appraise of men. He didn't let it make him who he was. Rather, he let the Lord's approval make him who he was. What is the word that we're looking for when we stand before God in judgment? Well done thou good and faithful servant. Not what the headlines have said about us are not said, but what God says. You be blessed and have a great day.